Good morning, YouTube, BookTube. This is Johnny. I thought I'd make a break. I thought I'd take a break from mopping the floors. My wife went to the grocery store this morning and she talked about when she got back, she was going to mop the floors in the kitchen in the main bathroom. And I thought I would do it for her since uh, I'm not crippled completely. Uh, we are a team here, partners. I do, I'm not really into house cleaning. I do, I do the laundry. One thing about me, in all the years, even before I was married, I always had a place to wash clothes and take showers. <laughs> no matter what. Now, I always had, before I was married, I had girlfriends. And they were they had houses and they had washing machines and showers, and I also uh, I had money to go to to a laundromat. At times, I washed my clothes, but um, so I've always had clean clothes. Always had a clean body, and uh, even when I didn't have a place to call my own. Well, I, I've had a, I rented an apartment for a while before I came to Michigan to go to college. Had a little apartment for a while. But, um, many years ago when I lived on a Christian commune, the only way you could get clean was uh, a sauna. They had a sauna. They had this, like a wood shed with, you heat all these rocks up and then you pour hot water. And then two guys would go in there and get a steam sauna. And then you would pour cold, cold water over yourself. One time I lived on a Christian commune and every couple of days we would get into a truck and drive down to a river and, and take baths in a river because there was no indoor plumbing. So anyway, so I'm sitting here mopping the floors, writing in my diary. I'm on page 58 on January the 18th, 2022. It's 9.38 in the morning. Writing in my diary. I'm still reading in the mornings. St. John of the Cross, the Scent of Mount Carmel. I'm almost done. I got just probably 10 pages left in the Ascent of Mount Carmel. And I might read The Dark Soul. I might not. I might go back to reading The Life of Jesus Christ by Rudolf of Saxony and reading Volume 3 of Reformed Systematic Theology. Spirit and Salvation. Uh, but today is a Tuesday. Yesterday I had the book nook. Nobody came in in the book nook yesterday. So I sat there and I read The Ascent of Mount Carmel. And when I got restless I walked I wandered around the store and looked at all the books and kept looking at the clock waiting to go home at one o'clock so finally one o'clock came came home in the day and that that was history so I did get a Christian book in the mail last week. I haven't shown it. Was this book is called God of All Comfort, a Trinitarian Response to the Horrors of This World by Scott Herrar. It's a forward by Graham A. Cole. I think I have some books by Graham A. Cole down the lower level. I haven't read this. The reason why I got this book is because I like to know his what is a Christian response to the horrors of this world. 
uh, the guy it says here in the back, Scott Harwer, a PhD, Trinity Evangelical Divinity School, is Associate Professor of Theology and History at Ridley College in Melbourne, Australia. He is also an ordained Anglican pastor with previous experience in medical research and trauma rooms. He is the author of Trinitarian Self and Salvation. So, I think we live in a world that's traumatized. <laughs> I know America is traumatized. And, uh, so, yeah, he goes into the chapters here are... Um, Oh, the horrors of trauma arising, issues arising from horrors, addressing horrors through real world stories, horror attuned reader perception, a horror reading of Matthew. That's what attracted me to this book. He's going to look through the Gospel of Matthew when he deals with horror. And since I plan to do, uh, after I finish the life of Jesus Christ, by Saxony, I want to go through the Gospel of Matthew and the Ancient Commentary series and and uh, some other commentaries on the Gospel of Matthew. So I'm kind of curious, uh, the horror reading of the Gospel of Matthew, a blessed reading of Matthew. Uh, then he has a part three, Horrors and Trinity. So, a Trinitarian response to the horrors of this world. So, it looks kind of interesting. So, I got that in the mail. I got, I mentioned I, I got that Penguin Classic cover book from my daughter and my son-in-law for Christmas from my, our grandchildren from Bethany, Louisa, Margaret, Jack and little Nora, Nora Jean, and um, and I was looking through that book on Christian uh, on classics, and some Penguin classics looked interesting, and I ordered them, and I got them in the mail yesterday. I got this one. I got uh, I just spilled my my frizzy water all over my diary. <laughs> And all over my my um, Saint John of the Cross. You gotta pay attention here. Oh, I can always dry things off. I get all wet. So yeah, I got two Penguin classics. Didn't spell that much. I got this one. Uh, I showed you this, this one. John Ruskin unto this last and other writings by John Ruskin. I came across that when I was reading uh, something else recently that escapes my mind. I was reading some biography. Oh, I was reading about uh, Van Brooks. It just can't remember his first name, but Van Brooks, when I was reading The Ordeal of Tom Sawyer and I was reading um, those Van Brooks biographies, he was influenced some of it in his youth by the writings of John Ruskin and um, that's why I got this. And then I got this uh, George Eliot Selected Essays, Poems and Other Writings in the Penguin Classics. So I got that. Those in the mail. I got some other books in the mail, but I'll show those in future videos. I just basically just taking a break from mopping the kitchen floors and telling you what I'm reading today. I'm reading uh, The Scent of Mount Carmel. Like yesterday, last night, I read the introduction to this one, uh, John Ruskin about his life and his writings. Uh, he was an authority on the British painter, Turner, who was one of my favorite painters. I like to find the complete works of 
of John Ruskin. He seemed like an interesting person. I had, I had a book by him in my art collection. It was called a, uh, I had a book by him, but I can't find it down the lower level. It was an architect, gothic architect, something like that. Can't find it. I probably got rid of it. I had a ton of art books I got rid of. Probably 50 at least of all kinds of art books that I got rid of. Yeah, he wrote uh, The Seven Painters, The Seven Lamps of Architect, Three Volumes of Stones of Venice. And uh, yeah, he wrote five volumes called The Modern Painters. That's what I'd like to find. If I was, uh, so things like that. So that's it. Not much else to com to communicate. Uh, today I have a session with my therapist at one o'clock. I know what we're gonna talk about. Usually I walk in there, how are you doing? And I say, well, I don't know how I'm doing. But then it's only 59 minutes and then you're gone. And I might stop at a thrift store on, on the way home. The weather is okay. Today it's just freezing cold, gray, bitter cold out but it's not snowing. It's supposed to start snowing to this evening. So that's it. I just thought I'd stop and say hi. What I'm reading, got some books in the mail. This thing didn't get wet, did it? God of all comfort. Writing in my diary, now I gotta dry it off. It's all wet. Got fizzy water. See, I had this glass of fizzy water sitting here and I spilled it. Ouch. What I do is I'll go into the bathroom and use a hair blower to dry things off. <laughs> Carol's hair blower. So, um, yeah. Just going through the morning. So, oh. When I tell people to read the Collected Works of St. John of the Cross, I always say, balance it out by reading John Calvin's Institutes or reading, uh, so, you know, read Beeky's Reform Systematic Theology, read Burkhoff's Systematic Theology. I try to balance between the old and the new, between Catholic and Protestant. But uh, you know, as you all know, I just go by the Bible. Uh, I go by scripture and I go by the Bible, the Word of God. And but I'm a bookworm, so you got to read something if you're a bookworm, especially if you're a Christian. So I read Christian literature. But I always say, above everything else, read the Bible. And everything is to be uh, evaluated. You read everything if it's true to Scripture. Not everything that John Calvin writes or St. John of the Cross or that I think is scriptural. But maybe it's my own failings intellectually, spiritually to understand. But there are things that are plainly revealed in Scripture that I do know and that's what I live like. That's what I live by is what is plainly revealed in the Old and New Testament, the Bible. Everything else I just say, well, you know, on the day of judgment, we'll know. Everything will be made clear on the day of judgment. And where will it really matter? <laughs> where will it really matter when you're in heaven who was right? John Calvin, St. John of the Cross. They're both going to be there in heaven. And so. Anyway, I'll stop my rambling. I just want to say good morning. Hope you're having a good week. Do pray that you're all well, that you're not sick with this plague. Uh, stay safe. Until next time. Bye.